Hi folks, in this segment I'm going to show you real quick how I cut out the, uh, the uh, wing blades for our turbine. Uh, I don't call them wing blades out of convenience, that is truly their function. Uh, if you take a look at the profile here of this material, it actually has a wing surface on it. It creates lift as the air flows across our turbine, um, which uh, gives us a much superior performance as opposed to just having a, a plain old drag turbine. Okay, that's how we get the speed on this turbine. Um, about this material, this is a synthetic material, uh, just a synthetic casing material. And it's made by LP Products, and uh, the uh, you know some people out there you might want to think I can just substitute a piece of wood for it or or some wood casing. Uh, you don't want to do that. You want this lightweight material that is critical to you. This is uh, good stuff. It seems to be impervious to water. Uh, it's cheap. Um, let me get you the part number for it real quick. It's uh, made by LP Building Products. Uh, it's just a casing material and the, their part number is 6113 uh, for this particular casing. And this is what I'm using. I prefer white. Uh, however, sometimes all they have is this this cool wood tone stuff, um, but uh, just a quick coat of Kills Primer makes it look just about the same thing. Although, uh, just to make it easier on yourself, uh, I go with the white. Uh, maybe some of you out there want purple or orange turbines. I don't know. I like mine to be white, um, but you're welcome to make any color you want. Uh, but starting with white will be easier on you. Uh, some of you may, may be thinking that you know the size of our turbine is, is deceptively small for uh, the performance we get out of it uh, and being able to uh, you know turn this fixed banger alternator which is you know takes a, takes a pretty good turn and uh, and I'll tell you why it is deceptively small actually uh, there is actually a lot more wing surface on this uh, uh, turbine than, than you might uh, than might appear at first glance. If you look at how much material we're gonna is gonna be on our turbine, uh, there's there's over 21 feet of this wing surface on 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 this little turbine. So uh, so we're so we're really getting a lot of wing surface into a, into a, a, a nice compact little system here. And. Uh, uh, cutting these out real quick, I'm going to show you, is uh, very easy. Uh, I do have a power miter saw, and I'm sure a lot of you out there also do. I don't recommend you use your power miter saw for this, uh, this material. Uh, for one thing, it just, it's kind of a, kind of a fiberglassy type thing. It's going to get up in the air. Uh, it's, it's really easy to, uh, uh, you know, mess up on the power miter saw too. This is, this is a real simple way to do it, and just real quick. All I do is I take my tape measure, I measure our 15 and a half inches for our plans, and I add a 16th of an inch. And I just mark it, just like that. And uh, I put it in the miter box, and just, just line it right up inside the groove. And I cut, just put the line center on the groove. Uh, and the main thing with this is, is not to, to hit the 15 and a half exactly, but to keep them consistent. That's more important than anything else. Uh, otherwise, you, you know, you, you're going to have a hard time making them all fit together. So try to keep them as consistent as you possibly can. Uh, you kind of want to saw gently through this stuff. Uh, with a little splinter. Uh, just a nice smooth. And, uh, and that's it. And all I do here is I just take a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of knock the burrs off it real quick. And, uh, and that's all we got to do. Uh, we, we need 16 pieces of this. And uh, so cut out your 16 pieces and I'll see you in the next segment.